The Ryan X-13 VertiJet was a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft built by Ryan Aeronautical in the 1950s. It was intended as a demonstrator of the ability for vertical takeoff and transition to horizontal forward flight and vertical landing. In 1947, the U.S. Navy's Bureau of Aeronautics awarded Ryan a contract to investigate the development of a vertically launched jet fighter. A vertically launched jet fighter could potentially operate from a submarine. Ryan conducted remote-controlled VTOL tests between 1947 and 1951, and was in 1951 awarded an Air Force contract to develop a jet-powered VTOL aircraft. This aircraft was given the designation X-13. Two prototype Ryan X-13 VertiJets were produced. It was a small jet, fitted with a Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet and a high-mounted delta wing. The wingspan was 21 feet, and the wings were fitted with flat end plates. Under the nose, a hook was placed. The hook was used to hang the X-13 from a vertical trailer bed landing platform. The trailer could be lowered to horizontal position and be used to transport the aircraft on the ground. Pitch and yaw control and hover were provided by vectored engine thrust, and roll control was handled by puffer jets, mounted on the wingtip end plates. The first prototype was fitted with temporary landing gear, and made its first horizontal flight December 10, 1955, and later it made full horizontal to vertical conversions, and back again, at altitude. The prototype then had its landing gear removed and replaced with a rig that placed the X-13 vertical on the ground. On April 11, 1957, the second prototype made a vertical takeoff from the trailer, then transitioned to horizontal flight, and back again. It returned to the trailer and landed by hooking to the landing wire. Only two Ryan X-13 VertiJets were produced. The U.S. Air Force decided to not continue the development, since there were no operational requirements for it. The X-13 was retired in September 1957.